In this tutorial, you're going to learn all you need to know about creating outlines using stylized rendering system for mobile. We'll begin with the post-process outline system. In order to be able to get the most out of the post-process outline system, we are going to have to configure one setting in the project settings. If you've already followed the setup instructions from the quick start tutorial, you can skip this. Head to Settings, Project Settings, All Settings and search for Custom Depth. Here you'll find the setting Custom Depth Stencil Pass. Set this to Enabled with Stencil. With this done, head to the Content Directory, Stylized Rendering System for Mobile, Blueprints and drag the actor BP Outlines SRS into your scene. This actor is responsible for all the outlines in your scene, but it only outlines objects that have custom depth enabled. So let's enable custom depth on these five spheres here. Now you can see there are outlines on all of those five spheres. You can customize the appearance of those outlines in the SRS Outlines actor. This actor has a few settings. Enable outlines simply toggles the outlines, and limited to bounds creates bounds around this actor that control where the outlines will be visible. If your camera is outside of the bounds that has its size specified through this bounds variable, the outlines won't be visible. But if your camera moves inside of these bounds, the outlines will become visible. Let's keep this unchecked for now. The outline types array right here is responsible for customizing your outlines and holding all the settings for your outlines. You can add multiple types of outlines into this array, but for now we're going to stay at one. Now, I only want our outline to be visible on our first sphere, as we're going to add more outlines later. So, we're going to have to use this stencil mask low and stencil mask high parameters. Those parameters form bounds, and outlines will be only visible if... And outlines will only be visible if the mesh that the outline is drawn onto has a stencil mask value that is inside of these bounds. Because I only want this to be visible on one object, let's simply set this to zero. Let's make sure that this sphere right here is the only sphere with a stencil mask value that is zero. So let's modify the stencil mask value for all those other spheres. Set this to one, this to two, this to three, and this to four. Now you'll see those objects do not have outlines applied anymore. Now for our first outline type, let's simply modify this appearance by increasing the thickness to, say, four. For organizational purposes, I'm going to change the name of this outline to Standard Outline. This name parameter does not have any effect on the appearance, it's simply for organizational purposes. Now, let's add another outline type. For this, I want a bright emissive outline that is only visible on this second sphere right here. So let's set the color to red and add this and increase this value parameter to something really high, like let's say 30 maybe even 100. Increase the thickness a tiny bit. Now we have an emissive outline and we want to mask it to only be visible on this sphere, which we set the stencil mask value to 1. So let's set the stencil mask low and high parameters to 1. And now this outline is only visible on this sphere. For our third outline type, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to make a blue outline that is only going to be visible on this sphere and we're going to make it a bit thicker something like 10 and mask it onto this sphere which has a value of 2 so it's only visible on this sphere right now now I want this outline to only be visible when the camera is at a certain distance away from the sphere so for this we're going to have to head into this advanced category right here and we're going to have to modify opacity over distance now at the start when we're really close to the object, I don't want the outline to be visible. So I'm going to say the outline will only begin to fade in when we're at a distance of, let's say, 10 units away from the object. And it will have fully faded in once we're at, let's say, 150 units away from this object. So if we're really close, there won't be, the outline will fade out, but as we move away, the outline fades in. And at 200 units it will start to fade out again and at 300 units it will have fully faded out. Now if we move closer you'll see the outline fade in and fade out again. There's a similar setting which is scale over distance in, with which you can control the scale based on the distance to the outline. Scale over distance is configured a little bit differently. By default if you're 
distance to the outline is the distance that's specified by scale fade start, the scale will simply be 1. As the distance gets closer to scale fade end, the scale of the outline will be closer to what is specified by end scale. It's recommended to leave these settings at the default settings as they make sure that the outlines get smaller as the object gets further away and smaller on your screen. For our next outline type, we're going to do something very different. We're going to disable we're going to disable visible when in line of sight. So right now it's just not visible at all. And now we're going to enable visible when obstructed. Let's set the color to white and make the thickness to 4. Now if we move away, you'll see that all of our all of our spheres with custom depth enabled have outlines that are visible from behind walls. Once again, we can either leave the stencil mask low and high values at default, or we can set them to 3, so only this sphere has an outline that is visible from behind walls. I'm going to set this to 3 and 4 actually for now, as this sphere is going to have a different effect that is good in combination with this effect. Before we move on, however, let's look at some more settings that are relevant when you're using this visible when obstructed mode. With this visible when obstructed mode, you have the option to modify obstructed distance threshold. This setting simply controls how far your object should be away for, from a wall for an outline to be drawn around this object when it's behind a wall. So if we increase this to something really high like say a thousand, there won't be an outline visible simply because it's too close to the wall. But if we look at it from this outline right here, the distance will be large enough so it's visible again. This comes in really handy when you have a character that has outlines that should be visible from behind walls. If this setting was set to zero, you'd see that there is an outline underneath the feet. And we don't want that, so just leave it at the default setting of 30 or increase it a bit if you are encountering similar problems when your character is walking through grass, for example. Now moving on to our last outline type, we're going to abuse this minimum depth difference parameter to create a cool fill-in effect. Let's set the color for this last outline type to a blue and make sure the alpha is set to 1 so this outline type is visible. Make sure it's visible when obstructed, checked, and visible when in line of sight is disabled. And now we're going to set the thickness to 0. And we're going to set the minimum depth difference to negative 1. So now this outline fills in your meshes that have custom depth enabled. I only want this to be visible on this, so I'm going to set the mask values to 4. And with this you can create fill-in effects. Additionally, one thing you can do with any outline is customize the opacity of that outline by simply decreasing the alpha value of your color. So let's set this to 0 0.5, maybe even 0 0.2, and you'll see that our outline will get less bright and less visible. And everything else will begin to shine through. Lastly, there's one more thing to know about the minimum depth difference parameter that we just abused to create that fill-in effect. This minimum depth difference parameter is intended to control the difference between two pixels for an outline to be dr drawn. The difference is in the depth. Let's just look at what it does. Right now there is no outline between the legs because the, depth, because the difference in depth isn't big enough for an outline to be drawn. If we decrease this however, you'll see that the lower the value becomes, at the more places will have an outline drawn on them. The outline system we just used to create all those outline effects uses post-processing. SRS for mobile was however designed to use as little post-processing as necessary. That's why there's also the alternative material-based outline system. In order to create material-based outlines, you're going to have to duplicate any mesh that should have an outline applied. So let's duplicate the sphere right here. Now we have a duplicate sphere and onto this duplicate sphere we should apply the outline material. So let's go to stylized rendering system for mobile, materials, master, and create an instance of the material outlines master material. Let's drag this to the content folder and drag it onto our duplicate sphere and you'll see an outline is applied. You can customize this outline in a very similar fashion. You can customize the color of your outline, however you like, and you can also customize the opacity of your outline using the alpha value of this outline. Additionally, you can customize the thickness of your outline. And if you wish to mask out certain parts so that they don't have an outline applied to them, you can also use the outline mask texture to mask out certain parts from having an outline. To demo this, I'm quickly going to use a pattern texture. 
um, this one and you'll see that at certain areas there just won't be an outline on our object. Let's reset this however. Lastly we can use a distance fade which is just like the one we used on this object right here and it works exactly the same. So for example we could configure this to fade out once we're a thousand units away and two thousand units and it's away it will have been fully faded out. So here if we increase the thickness a bit so we can watch it a bit better you'll see that it's fully faded out right here and as we get closer it fades in. Additionally one thing you can do with any outline 